Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Another quick video for you today. I'm going to be swatching out and taking a look at all my lavender watercolours. So for me, lavender was originally one of those pastel-like colours that I had very little use for. But over the last year or so, I've really grown to love it. Especially when I'm painting skies. Okay, so first up we have Holbein Lavender, and this one is a mix of PV15, PB29 and PW6. So this is the lavender I use and have in my palette. Uh, it's quite opaque, but it does work beautifully when mixed with blues for skies. It does granulate a bit, but not all that much actually when I'm actually using it in a painting. Yeah, it is such a lovely paint. I'm quite interested to see how it's going to compare to the others. Right, next we have Daniel Smith Lavender. Uh, this is made from PW6, PV15 and PB29, so it's the same pigments as the Holbein. Yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, this one is coming from a dot card, so fingers crossed there's enough paint for the swatch. definitely seems to be less opaque than the Holbein. I think it granulates a bit more too. Yeah, that's probably not so good for me as I don't really like granulation in my skies. Okay, and the final paint here is a student grade watercolour. It's Fango Lavender. And again, it's made from the same three pigments, PB29, PV15, and PW6. Yeah, it's a nice color, but I do definitely think it looks more blue than the other two. I guess it's a bit heavier on the ultramarine, maybe. It does also granulate quite a bit. Okay, that's all of them painted out, and here they are in daylight when completely dry. I think I do still like the whole bind the most out of these, but I'm a bit biased. I do love its softness. Daniel Smith's really nice too, though I probably could have shown it a bit better if I had more paint. Daniel Smith does say semi-transparent on their website. So I'm not sure if I would use it the same as the Holbein. Van Gogh is actually really nice too. The colour's quite different, but it definitely doesn't seem any lower in quality to me. It does also seem to be the most granulating of these three. So if granulation is your thing, then it might be a good option. I'm trying to think if I've tried a lavender watercolour from any other brands. I'm pretty sure Windsor and Newton and Schmincke don't make a lavender. I have to double check. Um, I know that Magello, White Knights and Roman Jamal do make one, but I've never tried them. Uh, do, do you know of any other brands that make lavender? And if so, what do you think about them? Let me know in the comments, please. And thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye bye.